Hi guys, it's Erica the Photographer. This video is a behind the scenes making of one of my Blacklight Masterpiece projects, The Letter Q, as in the literary classic Don Quixote. Now, in 1955, Picasso penned his version or his translation of the story, as you see here. A couple years later, somebody thought it'd be cool to take Picasso's version and slap it on top of a Van Gogh's Starry Starry Nightis version. I thought it'd be fun to put it on a model. So say hello to the lovely Miss Adrienne Hansen. Uh, to get her ready, I first hand her a baby wipe. I need to get a nice, clean base palette to work off of. So getting all those body oils off of her is step one. I'm going to hand her a paper towel here in a little bit. She's going to pop it in her top because I hate to edit. So if I have any paint that kind of falls off or I kind of get in my own way, um, when the paint is done, we just pop it off and I'm ready to start taking the pictures. So once that's done, I give her a little hydrating moisturizer because the UV paints can kind of dry out the skin a little bit, especially with as many layers as I use. So just kind of give myself a good clean palette to work off of. And then I need to start visually puzzling out where I'm going to start putting the pieces. And once I think I have it all sorted out, then I get my Paradise Paint in black in a very thinned down water version and I start mapping out where things are going to go. Just giving myself little visual references. I'll end up painting right over these so you'll see it's very, very thin, but it helps me just kind of keep track of where I'm at. Now for the highlight parts of the painting, I decided I wanted to airbrush it. So taking my Moon Glow UV paint in white and 50-50 version of the paint and bottled water, stick it in my air gun, shake it up, and I start putting in the actual highlights. Figured it would be easier for me than actually trying to paint it with the brush. So just gonna airbrush the bright spots on. And you'll see it start to build intensity because the UV paints are wonderful in one layer, but when you start adding layer after layer after layer, then they start to get really wicked bright. So once that's all done and ready to go, it's a start it's time to start actually painting. So I've got my palette painted up and you'll see I keep looking off to the right. It's because I've got my laptop set up and I've got the painting there just as a visual reference. So I just kind of keep going back to that, making sure that I'm, I'm staying as true to the original as I can. Um, I don't study the paintings anytime I do these beforehand. I just kind of say, yeah, yeah, that's what I want to do. And so it's not until actually the day of the session that I really start looking at the nitty gritty and the finite details. Now the Van Gogh's version is pretty simple. It's just basically a light blue, dark blue, white, yellow, and a teeny bit of orange. But once that's all set and ready to go, then it's time to start the Picasso version. <laughs> and I was actually very nervous to do this because I'm gonna start using the uh, Paradise paint in black in its full intensity and just paint it right over the UV paints. And I only get one shot at this. I can't wipe it off or clear off my mistakes. Um, UV paints are great, but you really, really need to go take a shower to get it off. It'll still show up under the UV lights, even if I just try and wipe a little bit. So I got to gingerly place every single brush stroke very exquisitely perfectly where I want it to go. So once I get the sun, then it's time to start for the Don Quixote de la Mancha. I'm just trying to follow Picasso's brush strokes as closely as I can. This painting was actually a lot of fun. Um, it helped that I had a whole lot of Red Bull and coffee before the session. <laughs> Just kind of give myself that little shaky hand, but all in good fun. So once he's done, I move over to the Farmo Sancho Panza and there you go. Fast tracking the heck out of this because the entire session took about two and a half hours. Um, it's just layer after layer after layer after layer. But it was uh, so much fun to do. And so once it's all done, you'll see I have her hair just clipped in the back. And wasn't going to show in the shot anyways. And there you go. Here's the original version, just for reference. And then mine ended up looking like this. Final shot was taken at f3.5, shutter speed 1, 350th a second, ISO 800. And there's what it looks like in the studio lights. Just so cool. So thank you guys for watching. These are so much fun to do. And I can't wait to show you the next project. Bye, guys.